Ladies and gentlemen, the big day is finally here. The Duo Showdown Challenge is live, and as you can see by the title, we're making it difficult for ourselves. <laughs> for the entire Duo Showdown Challenge, we're going to be using Dynamite. First things first, Dynamite is not very good in Showdown. Only one map comes to mind that I think he's somewhat decent on. And secondly, a lot of people want to win this challenge because it's a little bit more difficult compared to the 3v3 ones. And this time around, there were a ton of different resources for you all out there to prepare for this challenge. So you all already know we're going to be going up against Byron and Edgar for the majority of this challenge. There's a lot of brawlers who hard counter Dynamite in this game, and Edgar is very, very high on that list if edgar jumps on you as dynamite you really don't have much to work with <laughs> so i'm most definitely not going to say this lightly this is going to be the toughest challenge that we've done in a very very long time and you all already know your boy ray is going to be sweat mode prepare for no commentary <laughs> so guys hopefully you're all excited for the sweatiness in today's video it's going to be a little bit of a longer one i want to take you along with me for the entire process of this challenge if i win if i lose you guys will see the entire thing but yeah hopefully you're all pumped up let's get straight away into it. Here we go! Alright everybody, so the moment of truth, it's time to rip into this duo showdown challenge with our good friend Dynamite with a ton of Byrons and Edgars running about. It should be very, very stressful. Now, I did a community post not too long ago asking if you guys would like to see a more meta comp for my partner as in Money Capital or Pika as playing Bull, kind of troll team comps. And a lot of you guys wanted to see more meta brawlers, so a lot of Edgar plays. So we're going to be using Money Capital's assistance. We're going to be in good hands today. As you all know, Money Capital is a phenomenal showdown player. His expertise more in solo showdown, but of course that kind of intersects, right? You know how to be a good showdown player if you're that good at just regular showdown. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we got Money Capital in the house. It is time to start ripping in this bad boy. Definitely very, very nervous. This one is a little bit more challenging than the other challenges that we've had in the past. So Wish me the best of luck, guys. Let's do it. All right, you guys, just to explain how serious I'm taking this, how sweaty this is going to be, it's been a very long time since I haven't used a game capture in my videos here, and I'm just recording on my screen, so there's a tiny bit of latency with the game capture, so I want to do everything in my power to give myself a little tiny edge. We need to have everything going in our favor here. <clears throat> so let's see. Your boy in full sweat mode. So I'm hoping these first matches won't be as stressful just because uh, we have the entry level people here in Skull Creek. And this is probably my favorite map for Dynamite in the game. So we're in a little bit of a weird situation though. Let's try to focus up. <clears throat> Dang it, I missed. All right, let's wait though. What's this Primo doing? This crazy Primo. Nice. Alright, stun. Doing good. We need one more spot. I wish I would feel more confident to be able to like jump around and stuff, but if I make one bad play, if I don't if I jump in a bad way, it's all over, man. Alright, so how many power cubes does the other team have? Okay, he has three. We have one more gadget. We gotta keep that in mind. Who's gonna be the easier team to go for? I think this team. Spike is a little bit of a nuisance, but what is this Shelly doing? Yeah. Spike, a little bit of a nuisance, but okay, never mind. If we're getting pressured, then we have to fight back. Okay. Nice, second place. Alright, now that we got it, we can stun. Nice. See if we can get a first place right off the get-go. Let's go, guys. Starting things off on a good note. Let's see if we can get another dub on the board in this next one. Super, super nervous, guys. It's something about this challenge. I don't know why. It feels leaps and bounds more difficult, or it feels like you can't prepare as much compared to the other ones. So all we can do is just try our best in each situation and hope for the best. So I'm going to have Edgar get these. I'm going to jump and try and grab these. Go back. Or I'd I guess I'll help him a little bit with them. Never mind. Should be Dynamite's duty to jump over the walls and grab those, secure those boxes. Because he's super quick to get them. Okay, here we go. 
opening up another box that puts us at six did money kill someone he must have all right here we go drifting towards the middle these earlier games super important that we play well and smart because no that was bad bad on my part bad on my part that first jump i didn't mean to jump I didn't mean to jump with that stick. I just threw it in an awkward situ uh, awkward way. So that was my bad. All right, tick gonna be a little bit tricky here. All right, bad gadget on my part too. All right, we got one hit in there. Ooh, almost. All right, stay alive there, money. All right, sweating. We need one more team dead. I'm sure there's a team in the middle too, Money. Yeah, be careful. Hey, I've killed so many tick heads with Dynamite in the past. I feel confident in my abilities to hit the tick super as well. So here we go. All right, we're just gonna pressure them with lab or pressure here. We can, we should be able to win. Nicely done. Nicely done. Another first place, guys. Come on. Let's keep this going. Little bit of a shaky play in there. Dying to that Jackie putting money capital. Some pressure on money capital. But overall, not too bad yet. Let's try to get through this first map with no losses, okay? We need as many or as much wiggle room going into Feast or Famine, I feel. I feel like that's my least confident mode because... Um, you can really hope, only hope for second place if you're not being super aggressive and risky. So you can get a ton of power cubes, but you have a really, really high chance to die when you rush the middle. But the team that's lucky enough is going to have a crap load of power cubes, and they're more than likely going to win. So it's just a, it's a weird map, weird map for the strategy. Okay, we're pressuring. Colt is in that bush, though. Be careful. All right, this Jackie's lagging a little bit, so we're going to try to take full advantage of that. What? Move. All right, so kind of feel bad for the Colt. That definitely wasn't his fault, but hey, in this challenge, you got to take the free gifts. All right. Again, I feel like so restricted. I can't, like, jump and have fun. I'm just all trying to be super accurate here all right so we don't want to get too far away from the Edgar just in case the enemy Edgar comes barreling in at us and we do have seven par cubes so we're in a really really good spot we gotta we gotta play smart here we should win I'm like so ready for a bush camping Edgar just to come in whenever all right that's a dead I'm just going to get rid of that Robo Porter. Alright, so there's no one in the mid. Edgar jumping down. Nice. It's a dead Carl. dead mr p let's go guys not bad and now once we get second place we can jump <laughs> let's go back to back to back first places let's go let's go let's go so now that we have all of our losses remaining going into feast or famine i'm feeling definitely very very good here about this so wish us the best of luck going into this uh i don't know feast or famine is super super stressful but We'll try our best. Okay, so we're heading into Feast or Famine here. There's five boxes in the middle, but we're spawning next to two. So definitely a lot smarter to go for these and just kind of keep an eye on the middle. Like who's going to the middle, what's going down, you know? So, oh, Edgar. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Nice, okay, we killed the Tara. Nice, we kind of just nosied our way in there by force. I 
don't like the stinger shot on that bee. There's just a lot of pandemonium going on here. It's hard to read everything. I want to keep an eye on the left side too. Bee gets on us, it might be a little bit stressful. We got to be careful for those camping Edgars there. That Edgar could have killed us before super easily. All right, so Bee's partner definitely dead. We procced Honeycoat. Nice. Okay, three teams left. We had to loot, uh, get away from the middle though, unfortunately. It's probably best if we stay in the middle once we get it, you know? Such a scary spot to try to get in, even if you do have 11 gems or 11 cubes. Nice. Okay, two teams. Let's go. And now we have fun. Let's see if we can get a triple jump here. So past one of the first stages, one of the first maps here. Where are they? Are they down here? <laughs> nice. So back to back to back to back, guys. Hey, I ain't complaining. We're doing just fine. But hey, I would love as much of a buffer as we can getting into these later later maps when people get better and better right so heading into our next one of fuse fam that felt really really good so securing the boxes that are on the outside and then try to approach the middle thankfully dynamite ain't too bad at poking and prodding the middle like if you see just one person throwing a a stun shot try to get them in a, walk, a weird spot like a weird position okay down tara All right, I'm just gonna prioritize getting the cubes. Okay, that's a dead Brock too. What the heck? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Definitely a little bit disappointed that Skull Creek was first. I would much rather that be fourth, but definitely happy that Feast of Famine is second. I would hate to play on this map for the final one where all the people are super sweaty, like super good players where we are given little gifts like that up against the Brock and the Tara. Nice and easy kills, you know? And people not even going for the boxes on the outside. So there is going to be a beefy team on, in the middle, I believe. But I don't know if we need to be super afraid here. But we don't want to be dumb, right? We got nine power cubes. This game should be a dub. So try to avoid making stupid plays here. Nice. Three teams remaining. All right, thinking about just nuke in the mid. Nuking. All right, we just got to keep pro poking and prodding. We'll find them eventually. But it is a bull, so I hope money saw that. Nice. Okay. Guys, we're doing really, really well here. Again, prioritize the buffer. We want as many losses going into these final two maps. So let's see if we can get away with another victory here in the next match. Come on, feast or famine. We got to get past this. We got to, we got to. <sighs> okay, so heading into it. I like this approach. Dino is so good. I don't know. He's, he's bad in showdown, but not too shabby in duo showdown. Being able to just be a good help for your team all right i'm not gonna go to the mid but maybe we can grab this box here i ain't messing with that crap and a byron i don't know if i want to mess with a byron either byron's gonna be pretty dang challenging all right so we got a super off that at least i've been seeing a lot of bow byron okay i don't want to get hit by that Dang it. <laughs> All right, let's back off a little bit. Maybe we can get the jump on one of them. Okay. Man, Byron is so good. Such long range. If we get hit twice, we're dead. All right, I don't like this situation here. Alright, so we got a beefed up Jackie team in the mid. 
I'm just flexing gadgets, see if that makes a difference here. I'm going to try to play this waiting game. Definitely not going to get first place this time around. It's fine. Come on down. I'm just going to try to scare him away. I think the Byron was trying to hit us so that uh, it would antagonize the enemy team that's camping in the middle to go for us. Yikes. Nice. Okay, I don't know how we pulled the second place out of that. Thank God that worked. <laughs> oh, my heart. <laughs> this ain't good for my heart. <laughs> that Bo Byron were playing really well, like putting us in a bad, bad spot. Um, so thankfully, we scathed by on that one. But getting into the next one. Guys, the, the only thing that stinks about this challenge is we can't be super crazy with the jumps, right? We can't jump around. We can't have a good time because if we make one bad play, one bad jump, it ruins everything. So we can't mess around. We have to just be accuracy, Mike. Um, but jump when needed. I'm not going to use demolition because that would just make me feel uncomfortable. Okay, so the next map here, the third map in rotation is Rock Wall Brawl. And we're having a little bit of a tricky time picking a team comp. We're going to go with Edgar... Um, dynamite once again, but there's a ton of bush camping on this map and of course we're not super good at poking Dynamite is kind of that that person that should be doing that But the only other brawler that we're thinking about going with is B um, But the problem with that is we're really susceptible to an enemy Edgar jumping on us, right? B has a hard time keeping back that pressure and Dynamite for sure has a hard time keeping that back that pressure So let's see what we got here Okay pressure these guys I'm guessing Daryl's just going to try to wait. All right. I'm going to activate preemptive gadget. This is not good. Edgar was drifting towards us. All right. I'm going to try to get away. Just trying to be as flashy as I possibly can. Nice. Let's go, guys. We Hey, we, we did a jump. <laughs> a jump that made sense. <laughs> That's our only defense. If there's a bush camping Edgar that has his super ready, I don't think I could react fast enough, but I knew what his intentions were. So I was like ready for it. Kind of like when a Mortis is coming in on you. Oh, my goodness. That was nerve wracking. Okay, so we have one gadget remaining. We got to make sure to keep that in the pocket as long as we can. See, you know, dynamite game too bad at... Like this. Okay, we stunned him though. Get back, get back, get back. Hmm, this is tricky. This is so tricky. We're in a bad spot. We can only pray for second place now. But at least we got that stun on that Edgar. I feel happy about that. But the Crow Edgar, the double jumps. My God, this is going to be insanely difficult. Okay. We have to be super careful moving forward. Okay, we're camping for the time being. We're out of supers. Like, we have to go, like, jump as soon as we see any movement, as in supers coming from the bushes, because we'll die in a second to a kind of powerful Edgar. All right, everyone's camping. We're going to stay to the top left once we need to. Okay, here we go. I'm sure there's people in the middle. All right, four teams remaining yet. All right, should I pressure this team? All right, let's make this team feel awkward down here. All right, we just got to kill the Daryl. Yes, good job. Oh, Money Capital coming in clutch. He knew that the Daryl was by themselves. I don't know why the Edgar and Crow were in it to kill us. <laughs> they had a, us on a freaking chopping board there, but Money jumping away, going for the Daryl. That was the only option we had. So those smart showdown plays coming in there um, for Money. Nice. He saved that game. So let's head to another one. This map, probably going to be our hardest. The competition is super, super challenging. The Eggers and stuff. Oh, let's head to another one, though. Here we go. All right, so round two on this map. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> All right, so we got two boxes up top. We got two boxes to the right, but none in our general vicinity. So that might be a little bit of a problem. I'm just going to preempt the proc gadget here because these boxes, really important that we get off to a good start here. 
Okay. Nice. That was a really, really good, good exchange. Taking down the Sandy there. Pushing away the Edgar on the Sandy's team. All right, getting some good damage up against the Surge. One of the best things that I started doing with Dynamite um, is not being so... Not like saving your super as much, right? Not being so dang crazy with it. All right, so this Edgar definitely wants to jump on us. So we got to be prepared for that. I'd feel much better if we had a super <laughs> after I'm saying not to save it. But for example, like because we did so much damage to that surge, then we put him in a weird situation as well. If he has a bunch of gems, we give a super to him. Then the enemies start to prioritize him because he's low. But uh, here we go. Let's play smart. We need one more shot to get our super. All right, we got a bush check for Edgar here. All right, where is his teammate? All right, I'm jumping in the poison. Dang it, guys. Dang it, dang it, dang it. We left our team, so our first loss. Sheesh. This meta just is not conducive to Mike. <laughs> <laughs> the Jackies, the Edgars, but hey, let's not let a loss get us down, okay? We got to keep sweating our butts off. Let's get past this map because this is the most challenging, I think. Ooh, the last one's going to be kind of tricky too, but here we go. Okay, so heading into game two once again. Are we getting a better spawn? Nope, same spawn, no boxes. Feels bad, man. I think I might. I'm going to try to do the same thing we did last time. Not sure where the teammates are. Camping Edgar. I'm not sure. This Daryl really wants me, you can tell. <laughs> but you know, at the very least, he's being pretty decent super fighter. All right, so I think we just play smart here. We're not off to a good lead, so we got to play this pace game. All right, we had a surge camping. All right. It's challenging for money here because he's super, super low. Mm, did, we, did we just poke a bear? He do, I mean, he doesn't have much range, so he can't bush check. So everything that he wants to be bush, bush checked, I kind of have to do it. So Edgar is most definitely going to jump on us, and I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I don't like how many power cubes this guy has. All right. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, so close. 1,000. 1,000 HP. How do both those guys have 12 power cubes? Are they partners? Double Edgar? Holy crap. Not really much I can do. I have to like distract. I had two 12 power cube Edgars on me, just waiting. Where are these teams right now? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what is this map? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, two losses. We gotta get past this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe a switch at the comp. Okay guys, so this meta is definitely just a bunch of camping. So we need to make sure to keep that in mind. I don't know if that's gonna help us at all. <laughs> But let's be a little bit more frugal with our gadgets as well. Okay, here we go. Okay, we got an egg around the pro. I'm guessing there's someone down here. I don't feel confident going for that. Nice. I stunned him. Man, <laughs> what's up with that? freaking dive attack <laughs> this is so stressful <laughs> the byron edgar it's too much <laughs> dude the eggers just loom in the in the background just waiting to dive dive us we just have to assume everyone there's going to be camping at all corners guys let's not let these freaking eggers bully us around come on be ready for the jump prey Okay, I think it's Edgar, Mr. P. Okay, 
Nice. Sweating. Man, this is so stressful, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's wait. Okay, I can reach that. Let's try not to give away our position too much here. Nice. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's go. Guys, I'm sweating so much. We just got to get past this map. It's just too many stressful situations, man. But I think this is the play. Edgar is so needed for the jumping away and stuff like that. Just keeping the fight going. But yeah, I'll feel much better once we get past this map. But this, the final map is going to be a task in and of itself, too. Okay. Whatever happens during this run, we're putting it in, guys. So we're not giving this another attempt. So if we lose, if we win. Okay. Okay, I don't think we want to be middle. Yeah. I don't think we want to be middle. Let's wait and see. Where's everyone camping? We gotta be careful because the, the I feel like the meta here is just people camp with Edgar in a bush, they wait for super, and then they jump on you from the bush. You don't like know like when they're coming. It's challenging. Double. Let's go. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Okay, we gotta capitalize on this. Capitalize, capitalize. We don't want that this team to. Okay, this Edgar is tricky. He's so hard to kill. What the heck? Okay. My heart's beating. Four teams remaining. We tried our best to take care of that team, but we couldn't do it. Guy's just a survivor, man. How are there four teams left? This is so bizarre. Get me out of this map. I don't want to be on it anymore. Pinch, pinch, pinch. I don't know why we wasted gadget. I freaked out there for a minute. All right, focus up, focus up, focus up, Ray. No, Edgar jumped on me. No, kill. No! Oh, we were there! I had my notification thing pop up. We should have been able to kill that guy. Oh, are you kidding me? That was so my fault. We should have won that. I was so nervous. I don't know if that was a bad play. It was bad play on my part, but I didn't like how Money Capital jumped away from me while there's Edgars with supers. We had enough power cubes. We should have just stayed put. Ah, uh, that was a bad play. Very bad play on both of our parts. Okay, focus up. We can't lose again. All right, everyone, so final result here at the end of our duo showdown challenge. That is eight 
and 12. Not a bad run with Dynamite, I gotta say. Dynamite Edgar for the entire D, getting eight wins in this challenge. Not gonna lie, this thing was insanely difficult. I haven't tried this hard in Brawl Stars in a very, very long time, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat. Uh, boat losing this challenge. Don't feel too bad about it because it was inherently difficult. We have people on Twitter, pro players, not being able to complete it after th uh, three attempts. We have even people on the Supercell dev team saying that we might might have made it a bit too hard. Um, I think a great compromise or a way if we do duo showdown challenges in the future for Brawl Stars would be third place, a tie. So one count as a win, one count as a loss. So it's not as devastating, right? Um, but yeah, you guys should let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below, what you thought of this challenge. I thought it was incredibly fun. Just the experience got my heart racing, got me excited, got me enjoying Brawl Stars for the time being. So love it for that. But your boy Ray in the losing corner this time around. So if you ended up losing, we'll, we'll be in that losing corner together, guys. Don't feel bad about it, all right? Um, but yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to slap a like on it. I'd really appreciate that. That being said, have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun with Brawl Stars, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.